Hey guys, welcome back to True Reviews. I know it has been quite a while since I've actually made a video, and I apologize for that, but life has been busy. We've been very, very busy working and taking care of all the kids. So I wanted to make a video today to tell you about something that was introduced to me. First, I wanna make a disclaimer. I am not a nurse, I'm not a doctor. I've never worked in the medical field. I'm not getting paid to tell you about this product. I am just telling you about it because I'm hoping to help at least one of you avoid some of the problems that I've had with my health in the past. So this is nothing like any other videos I've made uh, reviewing products that I may sell or get paid for making their videos. So this is my real life situation. I have found out that I have a gene mutation called MTHFR. I have two copies of C677T. I get it from both my mother and father. And what happens when you have that is I'm no scientist so I don't know the exact definition of this but what I understood was my body does not process folic acid and it does not process many other things uh, medications and things that it should so instead of taking folic acid I need to be taking a more pure form of folate M L methylfolate so the reason why I wanted to look into this is because I have different conditions such as arthritis. I'm only 28 years old and I have arthritis and it hurts. Um, but the only medication that I can take for that is, um, it has a long list of side effects and it's, you know, basically going to cause cancer. So what's worse, you know, painful joints or cancer? It's hard to choose between the two. So I, so far, I've not taken any medication. But I did mention to my primary health care provider that I have MTHFR. And with telling him that, he was able to tell me that I might be able to, to uh, ease my symptoms or, you know, even live longer by taking folate, uh, a, pre, a prenatal vitamin. It doesn't, it's not necessarily prenatal. It's just a multivitamin that can be taken by both men and women with this condition. Anybody really can take it because you get folate from leafy green vegetables and uh, different foods that we eat so it's really something that can be taken by anyone but especially somebody who has this condition MTHFR really needs to check into getting a supplement with folate instead of folic acid and stay away from folic acid don't take it because it especially during pregnancy that can cause a miscarriage if you have this um, this gene mutation so I've had miscarriages I've had five six miscarriages total of seven babies lost and that is both physically and emotionally painful I don't ever want to go through that again I do have one beautiful little girl she's perfect and I'm very lucky that she doesn't have any kind of uh, neural um, defects because taking folic acid while pregnant can it your baby's not getting the folate that it needs and so you need to be taking a folate supplement instead of a regular folic acid that you could get from any pharmacy like Walmart, CVS. Um, this is something that you need to get from your doctor um, or the product that I was given. I gave uh, The doctor gave me a sample of this product called Bump and the maternal fetal medicine department in uh, Brookwood Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama actually um, worked with other doctors to be able to put this together and the label makes it a little difficult to um, show you here in the camera it's silvery colored but this actually has instead of folic acid it has one milligram of L-methylfolate magnesium and one milligram of folinic acid not folic acid but folinic so this is what you need if you are having any symptoms related to MTHFR or if you're pregnant instead of taking a folic acid if you've had miscarriages before don't take a folic acid go ahead and get something like this it doesn't have to be this exact product dr. Ben Lynch you can find him on YouTube and on Google he also makes a product that a prenatal vitamin that can be taken by men or women and this is something that's not going to um, affect you in, in a negative way when you have MTHFR. Like a regular prenatal vitamin is going to have some negative side effects and could even cause a miscarriage. So that is why I got this. I don't, you know, I, I'm not necessarily trying to get pregnant right now, but I'm not not trying. And other than that, this could help me 
with my my knee pain that I have from the rheumatoid arthritis it can help me with my energy it can help me with sleeping well there's just so many good benefits to it because apparently my body for the last 28 years has been lacking folic uh, fol folate not folic acid so stay away from folic acid so um, I'm, I've just started taking this and I will make an update video just to let you know how I feel if it's working if I feel better or not um, if I've had any side effects any negative side effects I'll definitely update you but this also has lots of vitamin B B12 B6 B2 iodine it has magnesium oxide omega-3 carbonyl iron it has many many ingredients that somebody with MTHFR really needs and the reason I felt the need to make this video is lots of people have no clue that they have MTHFR and doctors don't normally check for that for some reason um, doctors just kind of disregard it and don't think that it's such a big deal but I'm thankful that my doctor checked for it because five miscarriages you know ago I could have had a baby I could have known this if they would have just done a simple blood test to tell me if I have MTHFR and so after those five miscarriages I finally went to Birmingham instead of going to the other doctors that I had visited and I've been to different you know out of state I've been to different states Kentucky I've even been to a doctor in Mexico to try and help with this problem and nothing nobody could figure out why I was having multiple miscarriages but I visited Brookwood Medical Center in Birmingham Alabama and I was able to have my little girl four years ago just by taking a blood thinner because the MTHFR does cause blood clots especially if you're pregnant it'll cause blood clots in your placenta which will cause a miscarriage so I was able to do injections of blood thinner and take a baby aspirin every day and also um, take a prenatal vitamin which at the time the doctor had actually still given me a folic acid prenatal vitamin she gave me full guard and so you know even though she did find out that I had MTHFR she was not educated enough to tell me that I needed a folate prenatal vitamin instead of folic acid this time around I actually have been investigating it you know to avoid taking anything for arthritis that's where it all came from uh, my weight gain is also affected because of this MTHFR my body just doesn't process all the nutrients that it's supposed to the, my food um, even if I eat a healthy diet it's not helping me because it's just coming in and going out it's not none of the good stuff is staying inside is the way I understand it you know just to put that in simple terms none of the good stuff for my food is staying inside so um, when I it was I called my maternal fetal medicine doctor and asked if I needed to take any kind of supplement with folate and again they prescribed Folgard. So I, I said no, you know, by watching these videos and looking at Dr. Ben Lynch's page, uh, mthfr.net, I was able to learn that I don't need Folgard, I don't need folic acid, I need folate. And so he, you know, the nurse is actually who I spoke to, who had, uh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I didn't, the doctor didn't give me the Folgard. The nurse sent me in the Folgard. When I called her back, she went and checked with the doctor and he told her yes she needs folate she doesn't need folic acid and so he gave me um, a one month sample of this that he this prenatal vitamin that he actually helped develop and his name is Dr. Antonio Gonzalez from Brookwood Medical Center in Birmingham Alabama so if you're anywhere close to the area make an appointment with them they can uh, if you've had multiple miscarriages that is a maternal fetal medicine um, that is for high-risk pregnancy so if you can make an appointment with them or make an appointment with first the OB's there in Brookwood Hospital uh, do that and then ask them to speak with Dr. Gonzalez if you've had multiple unexplained miscarriages or if you do have MTHFR and have not been able to um, find a supplement that will help you have a successful pregnancy so this actually you can text the word bump b-u-m-p to 474747 and you can get a bottle of this for free and then after that they'll deliver it to your house it's only about thirty dollars a month so it's really worth it if you have tried so hard to have a baby and you can't or if you're just having side effects or you're sleepy 
your bones hurt, there's just so many unexplained uh, symptoms that you're having, just go get a blood test. If, it, if you don't have health insurance that will pay for this blood test, it's going to be about $2,000. But um, you can also, I've heard, get this test done with 23andMe. And no, I'm not paid to say that. I actually, my DNA test was done through Ancestry.com. But I don't know if Ancestry.com offers um, genetic testing. So 23andMe, I think it's about $200. And um, you can find out through that test. And all you have to do is either, I don't know if they do a swab or you uh, put saliva in a vial. But you do that test. In a couple of weeks, you'll get your results back, and it'll tell you if you have MTHFR. And if that comes back positive, whether it's just one copy, two copies, or if it's um, a different variation, there's several different variations of that genetic disorder, go to your doctor and find out what kind of supplement you can take. Um, you can order this without a prescription, but I don't recommend taking something if you don't know what kind of MTHFR defect you have because this has two milligrams but you may need less or more so if I were you I would just first do the test to find out if you have that genetic mutation called MTHFR and if you do the next step would be to go to your doctor and find out if this is the right supplement for you or if there's something stronger or weaker that you may need to take to help you uh, just live a healthier life this can be taken by men or women. It's not going to hurt guys. You know, it just it says prenatal, but it, it doesn't matter. It's a multivitamin that anybody can take. Um, if you have any questions, if you've ever taken this, please do let me know if you've had any side effects, good or bad, if you felt better, if you felt worse, because I just want to live a long, healthy life and not be 28 with pain from arthritis or I don't want to have another miscarriage for sure. I don't want to have to go get my tubes tied in fear of having a miscarriage you know if I'm able to have more children I would love to do so so there's many good benefits to taking this I think and I will definitely update you with my results there's the website here on the bottle I uh, hope you can see that if not I'll put it in the description it is www.centurionlabs.com that is c-e-n T-U-R-I-O-N-L-A-B-S dot com. And that is who created this supplement. Um, let me know if, you, if you've had an experience with MTHFR, if you've had unexplained miscarriages. Let me know if I can help you in any way by telling you about my history, my health history. I'll definitely be happy to, to let you know the things that I've done and things that have worked and not worked. Um, until next time, I appreciate you watching the videos. Please subscribe. I'll try to upload more frequently and um, definitely give you an update on this supplement.